In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create any landing page from scratch with the Thrive Landing Pages plugin. Hi, my name is Hanne, and often people ask us if we can create a template for a landing page they like. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you that you actually don't need to wait for us to create templates, but that you can create them yourself from scratch fairly easily and fairly quickly. Let's take a look at the landing page I like and that I'm going to create in this video live for you. So this is the landing page of Amanda Ganter and as you can see we have a full screen background image, there's the logo, we have a, a box, a colored box with the title and some text and then we have a two-step opt-in form. So this means we have a button and when we click on the button we will get the opt-in form. This is exactly what I'm going to create for you live in this video. I'm starting from a blank page. This is just a page that I created on a website that has a Thrive theme installed, the Pressive theme, and that has the Thrive landing pages plugin installed. So here we have the blank page and the first thing we will have to do is choose a landing page. I want to show you that you can really do it from scratch. So I'm not going to choose one of our many templates, but I'm going to choose the blank page. So select blank page and click on load landing page. As you can see, the blank page on the website changed for a landing page. So there is no more menu and there is no more distraction on this page. But for the rest, we don't have a lot of elements yet. So first of all, let's change the background image. So here you have the landing page settings. And you can choose for a static image. So select the background image. I went ahead and downloaded an image from stocksnap.io. These are images that you can use on your website even for commercial use. So this is the background image that I chose and I resized the image to be 1920 pixels to make sure that this is not too heavy to load on my website. So first of all, I'm going to take out this logo because we don't need it. And now we have this content block where we will be able to put in the box and this kind of element. But for the moment, this still has a background color and we don't want it because we want to see the background image that's behind it. So first of all, when I click on it, I can change the background color so we can clear it or actually we have to choose background color and then go to transparent. So this is with the opacity, you can just put it completely transparent. Click OK. You can see that we still have shadow around this box and I don't want this. So click on clear shadow. Here we already have the background image and the content element. So now to make sure that the box is actually to the side of the page, like this, so to have the image on one side and the box on the other side, we will put in a column. So column layout, a two column layout. This heading we don't need, so I can just click on the X to erase it. And in this column, I will now have to put, first of all, our logo, then a box, and then this copyright uh, text. So to put the logo in there, I will put an image, click on add media and select the logo. I can resize this logo, put it in the center, maybe make it a little bit smaller like this. Now the following element is the box. So click on content box, And I will choose a colored content box. Same here with this element. I can simply click on it to change the background color. Let's choose this bluish color. Of course, if you want, you can customize your color and choose a background color with a hex uh, code or RGBA code. But for now, I will just go with the blue that's already in the program. In this box, I first of all need a title. And this title is saying 
want to launch an online course. So I just created this text already in preparation and paste the text. I'm going to make this a heading, change the color to white and align it in the middle. Next we have this text copy paste and here I already have a text element so I can just paste it Oops. and add an extra paragraph here we will also align the text in the middle now the following element I'll need is this button so for this I can just choose a button and add it Now, blue on blue is not really visible, so we are going to change the color of the button. You can change everything you want yourself, or you can go for some preset elements. So I will go for the presets, and I will change the style also to make it more as I like it. Put it in the center. The text on this button is yes, tell me what I should use. I click on the button, and choose for the link settings here I can change the text and for the moment I'm not going to put a URL because we want this button to actually open the pop-up so I'm going to show you in a minute how to do this first of all let's make this text also a little more a little bigger like this here you can see we still have some content that we don't need so I can just click on it to cancel and here the same. So this all already looks quite nice. Start to look like we want it. We need to add the privacy policy and then the copyright. So first of all, to, for the privacy policy, we add another paragraph. And this doesn't have to be this big. Maybe put it in italic. Also in the middle one. So this is okay. And underneath the box, we actually want to have this copyright. So still in the column, but not in the box anymore. I'm going to drag another paragraph. Put the copyright text. We can change the copyright text color to make it a little less visible. Okay. Also align it in the center and maybe make it a little smaller like this now we actually have all the elements we want we have the picture the logo the box our button the copyright so this is perfect i will save it to not lose my changes the next step is connect this button to an opt-in form so I'll click on this button to customize it and here I can choose event manager. This means that something will happen when something is triggered. So the trigger here will be to click on the button and what will happen is the opt-in form that will appear. So click on event manager, add event and so the trigger is the click and the action is to open a Thrive Lightbox. Here you can see that I can also choose for a Thrive Leads Thrive Box this is only when you have Drive Leads also installed on your website. If this is the case, then you can use this kind of box so that you can use the A-B testing and all the different features you have included in Drive Leads. But for the moment, I'm going to show you how to do this if you do not have our Drive Leads plugin. So you open a Drive Light box. And as you can see, I can choose to generate a new landing page light box because I didn't create this beforehand. So I can generate one now. Here it says that it has been created and I can select it so it's the create a landing page from scratch one and then I will also be able to put an animation. I'm going to put a zoom animation. Okay. First of all I'm going to click on the 
this button so click here to edit because then I will be able to customize the box. Here we have a blank opt-in box. This looks a little bit scary because there's still nothing inside but don't worry we will customize it very soon. So let's take a look at how this one looks like. First we have the uh, dynamic element so it's a, it's a progress bar. Then we have some text, a title and the opt-in form and a privacy policy. So first of all we can add a progress bar. Like I said this is a data element. Data element progress bar. We can customize this progress bar. I will use the same blue. In the label we can put the 50% complete. The fill percentage. Let's make it a little bit more than 50% just so visually people have the impression that it's already over half of it. The font size label, so this will change the 50% complete label um, the size of it. We'll put in 10 and then the height we'll put in 14. I'm going quite fast about this because there's actually a video that, can sh that shows you uh, how to do this. So if you want to have more instructions about this element then you can just look at the video about how to add uh, a progress bar to your opt-in forms. So next we want a line of text. So this has to be smaller, aligned in the middle and to make sure that it's closer to the progress bar I can actually choose progress bar and in the margin we can see that here there's a bottom margin. I will take this out so that visually these two elements are actually together. Next let's take a look. We need the title. I put in a paragraph. Copy this title. And use a heading. Let's line it in the center. Following element is the actual opt-in form. To add an opt-in form to this blank one. We will choose for a lead generation element. So here you go lead generation and as you can see this is already a vertical layout but if I click on it I can customize everything. So I could also choose for the horizontal one but for now we want to copy what's happening so the vertical one is perfect. The dimensions, so the form size, I will actually make it smaller. Um, for 50 will probably be okay. And align it in the center. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. So click on it again so that we can change the text of this button, this element. So the edit components, here I can actually change the text, so the submit button. Here we go. So this is the text. If I want to change the color of this button, I can do this. So maybe we will choose the same reddish color that we have on the first page. Here again, we can put this smaller in the middle. And then also, uh, you can see that there's quite a lot of space for the end of the opt-in form. So I would choose to put less of a margin. Even a little bit less than this. I find there's a little bit too much space between these two ele elements. So on the margin we can see that there's a top margin of 22. Probably 10 could be better. And here we can see that there's a button margin. Okay. So this looks kind of good. So we have the progress bar, the text, we have this title, then we have the opt-in form with the get instant access now and our privacy policy. Perfect. The last thing you will have to do now on this opt-in form to actually make this work is to click on it and to connect it with your service. Again I'm not going to explain this in this video because there are a lot of videos for each email service about how to connect it but it's really straightforward. Here I'm going to save the changes and then let's have a look how this actually looks like. 
oh yeah, here I just have to click save the event to make sure that the opt-in box will appear. Save the event, close this window and save the changes. Let's preview. As you can see, we have the full screen background image. We have the colored box, our title, the button. And when we click on the button, we have the opt-in form with the dynamic progress bar, the title, and then our access button now. I hope this video helped you to see that you don't have to wait for us to create new templates for you, but that you can actually build every landing page you want from scratch with the Thrive Landing Pages plugin. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below this video.